This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba for another technical diving tips, techniques, and trips video. A dump valve is a small plastic assembly that consists of three parts that is used to release air from the BCD bladder. Going from left to right are the ceiling surface, the outer housing, and a toggle located on a string. There is usually at least one dump valve located toward the bottom of a BCD or wing. Sometimes the position of the dump valve can be exchanged from the left to the right side, and sometimes there is also a dump valve on the right shoulder. So the number and positioning of dump valves can vary widely. Between recreational BCDs and standalone wings used on plates. New divers are typically taught to release air from their BCD or wing by holding up their inflator and releasing air. And of course, there must be a clear path to the surface for the air so it doesn't get trapped in the back of the BCD as it would if the inflator were lower. So the only problem with this is that if there is too much air in the BCD and the student attempts to swim down, all of the air is going to get trapped in the back of the BCD and it doesn't matter how high you raise the inflator, air will not be released from the bladder. So if all the air is trapped in the back of the bladder and the diver cannot release any air, the only way they can release air is by using the rear kidney dump valve. New technical divers may face a similar situation, however, it normally occurs during decompression stops. With technical diving, the new technical diver should be in an approximately a horizontal position in good trim. And the same situation occurs, there is no way for the diver to be able to raise their inflator high enough to get air out. So in this event, the only way the diver can release air without breaking trim is again by using the dump valve. When articulating the dump valve, you will obviously need to pull the ceiling surface away from the actual BCD itself. So the procedure for doing this is to either grab the toggle or the line and pull it out and this will retract the ceiling surface. The problem with this is that if you have a diver and if they simply pull the string or the toggle away from the BCD, it can actually have the effect of trapping air inside the BCD. And the effects will not be as effective if you do it by pulling the toggle and the string toward the surface. So what this does is it raises the part with the dump valve to the highest point toward the surface and allows the air in the BCD to be uh, released much more effectively. One last thing I would like to discuss uh, in this video actually involves the toggle itself. So if you have a toggle on your dump valve, it is possible that the toggle uh, becomes trapped under another piece of your equipment and actually prevents the dump valve from sealing. Another issue that it could occur is that the toggle could also be trapped under a piece of equipment and you will not be able to find the string. So what some divers do is they will cut the line, take off the toggle, and then tie another knot at the end of the line. So this prevents the uh, dump valve uh, string uh, being caught underneath any piece of equipment. Now, if you do this and you remove the toggle, it does introduce another issue that you might uh, encounter, and that is the string is much more difficult to locate than the toggle. So the technique to more effectively find the string on the dump valve is to first find the outer housing of the dump valve 
and then go to the center where the string will be. This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.